Inyanya na ho, iti yuwa, owa magina, chuku kigwe bu, ebe ndudi. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Where does your hope lie? I want to ask you, brethren, where does your hope lie? Hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen, a feeling of trust. Hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on an expectation of positive outcome with respect to event and circumstance. Hope means you desire something to happen. It must be built on something less or greater. A song writer goes this way to say, My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ. Eh? Now you see, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. This is why I ask the entire brethren, as you are watching me right now, I want to ask you this question. Where does your hope lie? Child of God. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 says, Blessed is the man who trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Hear me. Hear me, somebody watching me right now. The scripture predicts that a new day is coming. There will be a golden age of prosperity when all perplexing problems of religion, politics, social act, will find their complete solution. Brethren, it will be a marvelous time for this messed up world. Man alone cannot do it. The flaw in human nature is too great. We don't have the ability to repair this damage. Planet, Christ is our only hope. His plans are already formed. It is there in the scripture. Whatever it is, God is our only hope. Even in our country, in this world, God is our only hope. Permit me to read through Philippians chapter 3. You will see where Paul was edifying the church. Some people, they have actually made their God, their stomach, their God. Some people have actually biased their hope. Hope goes completely to what is unseen. That is Romans chapter 8, 24 through 25. You see, a young girl was encouraged to concentrate in looking unto Jesus and not what people are saying here and there. I want to let you understand, no matter what people are saying, put your trust in the Lord. No matter what is going on through the world, put your trust in the Lord. The psalmist says in Psalm 39, verse 7, My hope is in you. Christ in you, the hope of all glory. That is Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Hear me. Those who hope in Christ cannot be forsaken. Even the Old Testament made us to understand. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. I want to prophesy into your life. According to Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18. Your hope will not be cut off. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says. Fear not, child of God. Fear not. And I want you to understand, no matter the sickness the doctor have actually diagnosed in you, have actually found out in you, fear not. He is the healer of all diseases. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing this God cannot do. Your spirituality and administration should not be based on qualification and strength. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9 says, By strength shall no man prevail. Now hear me. God has good thought for us. That is in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Just look unto Jesus, the author and finisher 
of our faith. Iye ni ile nka ena cho. Christ, anya hunsi wea. Mage. The hymn in the Anglican Communion, Abo 182 says, Palitem kasi mobi. Gwomore do kwa nonisi. Ahangi bo ahanso. Echuru na juo mwe. Aluwa di ni mobi. Manizu nesi oku. Our job on earth is not to criticize, reject, or judge one another. Our purpose is to offer a helping hand, compassion, and mercy. We are to do unto others as we hope they would do unto us. Concentrate in the light, Jesus Christ. Concentrate in the light, Jesus Christ. When you have an attitude of gratitude, frustrating troubles will fall by the wayside. I want to encourage you to bring forth that hope you have in Christ. Be the reflection of Christ and shine his light. Listen and listen very carefully. The more you are grateful for what you have, the more you can live fully in the present. If our fathers have ruined the faith, they wouldn't have been able to grab one. It is more blessed to give. Acts chapter 20 verse 35. There is joy in the act of giving when it is done with pure motives. It promotes our own peace. We have the power to give. You see, we have the power to give. By reaching out to help another human being, you're sending ripples of positive change. Child of God, you are sending ripples of positive change. Finally, I want to say this. We, you don't need to be deceived. You cannot make it all yourself. You need somebody to help you. You are not just strong in all areas of life. You might be weak this side. Someone else is strong the other side. There is a good hope and bad hope. The hope you have for the downfall of your leader or your friend or even your boss is bad. It is cruel and bitter emotion that won't leave you alone. Hope can be an inherent bias idea. Hope can set up for disappointment and defeat. Hope can hamper us from adequately preparing for negative outcome. Hope can be like prayer wishing for something rather than more forcefully working towards it. We hope for a better life. We hope for a better Nigeria. We hope for a better attitude in serving God. Listen, a bad hope can encourage you to forfeit personal power and control. Hope can be a tool of self-deception. Hope can set us up for hopelessness. Where does your hope lie? Romans chapter 5 from verse 1 to the end. I want to bless you this hour of the day and I tell you, put your hope in Christ. God bless you. Keep on subscribing to this channel and the Lord will continue to bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.